ओके हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दिस वेरी वेरी स्पेशल एडिशन सेशन एपिसोड ऑफ क्विजिंग इफ यू गाइस सॉ वी रिसेंटली डिड अ पॉडकास्ट वेयर वी टॉक्ड अबाउट इंश्योरेंस आई मीन रोहन एंड आई बेयरली टॉक वी लिसेंड वी हैड वैभव वन ऑफ द मोस्ट स्पेशल गेस्ट्स वी हैव हैड ऑन ऑन दिस चैनल एंड ड्यूरिंग दैट सेशन वी रियलाइज्ड वी नीड टू क्विज दैट्स ऑल दैट्स अ रियलाइजेशन वी हैव एवरी आवर और सो but then we figured let's do one quiz with uh, around finance insurance and uh, call we have back call rohan back and call two of our members and here we are five of us together we got a quiz around business finance a bit of insurance we're going to call all the four contestants of this very very special quiz one by one our first contestant has been on this channel quite a few times earlier live shows uh, online quizzes uh if i remember correctly i am amdabad works now in amazon in mumbai give it up for abhishek hi you welcome abhishek do you have insurance otherwise you are not allowed on this quiz do you have term yeah, insurance? group insurance and personal insurance also okay health insurance that's the personal insurance yeah okay okay mm-hmm. okay i'm calling babav who will again check if you need uh if you saw our podcast you need more than group insurance and lot of other things will we last we have but good that you have health insurance what are we doing let me call rohan joshi for rohan hello 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 kv hello hello abhishek hi it's going insurance literate rohan both of now newly insurance literate newly insurance literate <laughs> yes 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 i need yes. to go abroad and score hole in one at some point hole in one sure <laughs> <laughs> Okay, on that note, our third contestant, also a member of the channel, you've seen him earlier on Quizzing with Members. He's been a winner of Quizzing with Members earlier. Uh, HR professional works in uh, financial services, right, Sidesh? That's correct. Hey, KV. Uh, nice, nice. Financial services. Are you insured, Sidesh? Yes, I am. Term insurance, health insurance. He's like all, me, all insurer who. ठीक है. बात को मत सिखा. इसलिए मैं सारे employee का कराता हूँ. तू इस बात मत कर. मैं सर That's correct. <laughs> That's correct. Okay. On that note, alphabetically last, but uh, insurically the best. Give it up for Babab. Babab Kajju is here. Hi, Kevi. Hi, Rohan. I know, Rohan. Ask, I know you are insured with the best possible product in the market. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Fun fact: my my uh, current health insurance was actually uh, done by Babab because oh. Babab was my colleague and used to lead, like used to head insurance. there and uh, my boss was like tu kyun dimag laga raha hai babu ko call kar he'll come and tell you which one to buy every year when i pay insurance premium i think of babu thank you so much babu for health insurance because you had told me then ki abhi to tu naukri kar raha hai mujhe pata hai tu chhodne wala hai tu comedy comedy kar raha hai side mein <laughs> tab tere ko ye bahut kaam aayega thank you babu thank you so much for that thank okay. you cool are you guys ready for like some business uh, some insurance quiz okay okay guys Okay, let's do this. Okay, cool. All of you know the rules, so we'll just uh, head straight away. Start. Let's do it. First direct is to Abhishek. Abhishek, I'm talking about a certain company. Okay, it is an Indian joint venture life insurance company formed by an Indian company and another company sitting at Hong Kong. It started its operations in India on April the first, two thousand and one. logo of the company based in hong kong is attached on the right so that is the foreign partner of the insurance jv the indian group holds a 51% stake in the insurance venture while the remaining 49% is held by the foreign entity as is the rule in insurance it offers a range of life insurance products such as term life insurance ulip pension plan casualty insurance and the like which company are we talking about so if you know in india even if you don't know anything about insurance but you see ads you'll see a pattern indian company foreign company yeah. so just give me indian and foreign what's the combo if there were marks for trivia i would have started off right now yeah once the final answer is out babu feel free absolutely to. yeah please please add not getting any uh, in right away just a while yes icsa lombard not icsa lombard going to rohan um you know since abhishek stole my wrong answer i'm going to need Extra three seconds just to figure this out. Ah, uh, okay. Is it is it Tata AIG? Ron, you're very close. I uh, I don't pass. You're almost there. I'll give you a chance to improve. You're almost there. 
Man, sorry, nothing else is occurring. Oh, okay, so no, I sure. shall, yes. Yeah, yeah. Going to Siddesh. Uh, it's Tata AIA. It's Tata AIA. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because AIG is American. That's the thing. AIG is the American International Group. Damn right? it! But you are there. That's why I give you a chance to. Improve. Damn it! AIA. AIA is the Hong Kong based. Uh, Company, yeah, but you want to add something on this? And AIB, you know, is very good. <laughs> <laughs> also, Rohan, uh, AIG, Manchester United. Yes, oh, yeah. exactly. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 So it was actually AIG till the subprime crisis happened. Mm. And then they had to liquidate their Asian arm, which took over this life insurance portion. Mm. Uh, okay. 12. Well, this is uh, one of my insurers. Which one? Oh, Tata AIA? Nice, slum dog, slum dog. Twelve <laughs> is age, but I want to give some points to Rohan for getting Tata. Mm. Hey, technically for getting Tata AI, okay. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. No, no. Technically, getting hundred percent right till two thousand eight. Yeah, ha, ha. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. some people are ahead of their time. I'm behind my time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I um. Okay, okay. Should we do? Three to Rohan, nine to Siddesh. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. for me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's not a very competitive quiz. I'd like to assume. Okay, we are doing this to learn more things. Okay, next direct is to Vabhav. Vabhav, now I'm talking about <clears throat> another company. Yeah. The company is named after something which was known as the Great Path to the Sea in the 18th century as Boston became a flourishing maritime capital. The company's logo formerly included a clipper, which is again shown on the slide, to reflect the maritime industry in Boston during this time. Which famous company that is the second oldest continually operating United States bank and is the largest custodian bank in the world? Okay, and the logo is given. The logo is now changed. The current logo is different. Current logo actually has the company's name, but their logo for the longest time was the one that you see on your screen which shows a clipper slash ship boat to show maritime. And the na name of the company comes from something which was known as the Great Path to the Sea in Boston. Okay. Just a quick question, if I can ask. Yes. Uh, is, it, is this company in India also, or this is only hmm. in America and other parts of the world? Mm, probably not in India. I mean, it might be, but not really in public, this thing. Okay. We don't okay. really see like there might be things as a piche, like yeah. no, no, fair. Yeah. Like so at least I don't think about the Indian companies, uh -huh. the popular Indian ones. Uh -huh. And Rohan answered this question would have gone to yeah, yeah, serious. Me, itna basic insanu ke mere ko bus ship matchboxes. Okay. Lloyd's by any chance? Not Lloyd. It's UK based, Going, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Going to Abhishek? Merrill Lynch? Not Merrill Lynch. Going to Rohan? Uh, I, this could be completely wrong, but is it like Plymouth Rock? Not Plymouth Rock. Going to Siddesh? It is State Street. Beautifully done, Siddesh. Oh. Wow. When Vabo passed, I was like, Ab nahi It's like general quiz with Rohan. Ke Rohan nahi nikla to kya ho ga is question ka? But Vabo... dost mere ko marne wala hai, wo street street ke liye kaam karta hai, hai? <laughs> achha dost. Nee, one of the things it's because of the industry that I know. Malab. Yeah, yeah, no, no, fantastic stuff. Fantastic. Ah. Don't make excuses for your excellence, Sidesh. <laughs> street Street Corporation, great back to back plan. both the answers. Superb and uh, great great uh, sorry, State Street. And State Street mm -hmm. is uh, a street in Boston, which was known as the Great Street to the Sea. Okay, when we said Great Part to the Sea, talking about Straight Street Corporation. Left is the logo that you saw earlier, and right is the current logo. And yeah, fantastic. 10, 11, 12, 13 points to Siddesh. Okay. Well done. Okay, which means the next edit will be to Weber. Weber, we are looking at a two word answer. Okay. During the US bull market of the 1920s, there were numerous private investment vehicles available to wealthy investors. Of that period, the best known today is the Graham Newman Partnership, founded by Benjamin Graham and his longtime business partner, Jerry Newman. This was cited by Warren Buffett in a 2006 letter to the Museum of American Finance 
as an early entry to private investment and based on other comments from Buffett, Janet Tabakoli deems Graham's investment firm the first dash dash. So your answer will be a two word term. Okay. Their firm was the first dash dash. Alfred Winslow Jones, an American investor and sociologist, is known to have come up with the phrase, the two word thing, and creating the structure of what is this two word term. Give me the blank, the phrase. Uh, I'm just contemplating between two options and maybe both are wrong, but uh, was it a private equity? The first private equity, no, passing to Abhishek. And just go with the generate one uh, brokerage firm. Not the first brokerage firm. Uh, going to Rohan. Uh, angel investor. Not the first angel investor. Going to Sidesh. Is it mutual fund? Not mutual fund, but great guess again, Sidesh. Uh, I'll make it simple. Uh, it was the world's first dash fund. Okay. World's first dash fund. And think risks. Think risk leverage. Even like literally think risk and what would you do to say avoid risk, for example, in life. Okay. Is that is that helpful? World's first dash fund. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we'll take around with that. I may be repeating what happened, so I don't remember whether but two words. Second word is fund. Think yeah. Fund. And I said think of risk. Try trying to manage risk. That is a thing. Arbitrage fund? Not arbitrage fund. Going to Abhishek? Mitya? No, going to Rohan. Is it a hedge fund? Hedge fund? Yes. Hedge fund. Seven points uh, there to Rohan. It is hedge fund. They are, uh, Graham Newman Partnership are considered to be world's first hedge fund. Okay. Uh, and yeah, now everything makes sense. Hedge. Thanks. My next case would have been Lakshmi Chit Fund. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Hedge fund, Rohan gets seven. And I come to Sidesh for the next direct. Sidesh, uh, since uh, Weber brought up Lo Lloyd's of London earlier, uh, Lloyd's of London was one of the first organizations in the world to provide insurance services. When they provided these services for sea voyages, Lloyd would generate a receipt containing the information regarding the voyage with premium payment details as well as expected payout. A financial risk taker who was willing to accept the risk would inscribe their name on the receipt. What term originates from this practice? Is it guarantor? Not guarantor, but good guess. Going to Weber? Underwriting? Underwriting or underwriters. 11 yes. points to Weber. Underwriter. Yes. And guarantor was a great guess because people often get... So basically, people used to write under those things. Under it. Yes. The last uh -huh. would be considered. Yes. Yes. They have to write under it. And hence, underwriter. Babhav gets 11 for this. Uh, At least account open. Hoga. Yeah. Yes. And, nahi, or, or, and this actually also led to another practice in uh, insurance where uh, a wrestler would also take on some of the debt and he was the undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> 11 to Babhav, which means, uh, Abhishek, this is your direct. Bajinge, bajinge, drum or sax. Bharenge, bharenge, sab ek dash. Lagu ho gaya dash. Now people show some honesty. On 1st July 2017, Baba Sagal launched his new song on YouTube with some of its lyrics written above. The song came amidst curiosity and confusion over one of country's biggest reforms. Though it was described as a simple thing, many were still confused about the processes, new procedures, tracking status and other things. Just tell me the title of the song, Abhishek. Knowing Baba said, well, the first blank is stats. Mm -hmm. uh, GST and honesty? Yeah, of course it's GST. <laughs> <laughs> it points there to Abhishek. It is GST. Bajenge, bajenge, drum or sax. Barenge, barenge, sabek tax. Lagu ho gaya GST. Yes. Now we'll show some honesty. Beautiful. Amazing. Never thought Baba Sarin will help in a finance quiz. 
economic dash. in a global economic paper series of why why is a company where he was handling asset management on the four emerging economies he later used the term the next 11 for bangladesh egypt indonesia iran mexico nigeria pakistan philippines south korea turkey and vietnam arguing that they would be among the world's first world's largest economies in the 21st century give me the blank and why is the bonus if Somebody gets why in the first round will give points to that. Otherwise, we'll close it with only the blank. Okay. A wild guess. Is it bricks? It is bricks. Yes. He coined the term brick, and which later became brick. brick. Actually, yeah. 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 Coined the term brick, and the word play was that the world needs better economic bricks and brick. And but we'll take a round only for why, just to see if somebody mm-hmm. gets points. Really, really not important for points. But I just want to take a round with the company name. So Rohan, you can just take a guess. Where oh, did he? Go? Um, was it um, McKinsey? Not McKinsey. Going to Sidesh. This is only for bragging rights. So don't worry about points on this. Is it Berkshire Hathaway? Not Berkshire Hathaway. Going to Weber. Uh, it was. Uh... Uh, I, I, it was BCG or uh, e, 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 I can't recall. Or uh, uh, no, going to Abhishek. Uh, yes. 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 Abhishek. It is Goldman Sachs. He was an economist at Goldman Sachs. And they came up with the word brick. Okay. And these are the four brick members. And then became the brick punning members. must be off the charts when they fire people at Goldman Sachs. No. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Okay, by the way, later it became BRICS with yeah. the addition uh-huh. of uh, South Africa. South Africa, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Okay, so Rohan got ten for BRIC, and which means the next it will be to Sidesh. Okay, Sidesh. Before taking up the arduous journey, which proved to be a giant leap, this trio left a whole lot of memorabilia with their autographs on them. This was done as no insurer was willing to underwrite the risk. and an insurance premium was not available for the same so in order to insure this trip they left behind memorabilia which could be sold if something bad were to happen what trio what are we talking about this put funda so this is the three uh, astronauts neil armstrong buzz aldrin and i am forgetting the third one yeah. before the trip to the moon Nobody ever ever. Missed. Michael Collins always gets shafted, man. <laughs> throughout history, just nobody. shafted throughout history. This is why never be the guy who agrees to park the car and stay. Like, yeah. Never. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about the astronauts in Apollo Eleven, but already Neil Armstrong in the third. Another year. piece of trivia that I love is that they had to clear customs on the way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they came back. They had to fill a customs form. They have come back from a trip to America, right? So yeah. they had that, to clear that customs form. form. Yeah, beautiful, where they've written like raw. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> declare everything. Uh, so the funda is, of course, like their journey was not getting insured, so they left a lot of memorabilia for their loved ones. Ten uh, points. Thank- yes. Sir. Thankfully, I went with this one. The other answer I was thinking was Harry Potter, Ron, and Hermione before Hogwarts. Wow. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, fun, fun, da. Fun, fun, fun. Uh, next one is also next one is probably my favorite quiz, personal favorite from the quiz, which is the direct for Weber. Weber. While there are always some fine prints in taking insurance policies, in UK, an investigation revealed that insurance for your vehicle may be void if you put dash on your cars, even though this might be a sign of loyalty. as you flaunt your affiliation or support towards a group the insurance company believes it raises the risk of vandalism to your car and if undeclared would void your policy in almost all cases putting messages in favor of what kind of groups 
could lead to voiding of insurance policy in the US, uh, in the UK? Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but what I understand of sports and little bit that I understand of UK, this could be supporting a football club. Yes. Vandalism is extremely high over there. So this is crazy. I learned it while we made this quiz. If you put football club stickers on your car, <laughs> oh my God. Brother, really? You should see what happens if you put football club stickers on your t-shirt. <laughs> Yes, so this is putting stickers of Ibrablia in support of football clubs on your car can lead to some insurance issues. That brings us to the halftime already, talking of football. Uh, halftime of the quiz, we'll take a quick look at the score. But like we said, it's a non-competitive friendly quiz. Okay, Abhishek has 10 on um, GST. Uh, Rohan has uh, 3 for Tata AIA, 7 for... Uh, 7 for what? No, oh, seven, 7 for hedge funds, sorry, 7 for hedge funds and 10 for brick. Uh, Rohan is on 20. Siddhesh has 9 for AIA, Tata AIA, 13 for uh, State Street Corporation and 10 for um, astronauts in Apollo 11. Uh, Siddhesh is on 32 points and Vabhav has 10 for putting football club stickers and 11 for underwriters. Vabhav is on 21 points. So Siddhesh 32, Vabhav 21, Rohan 20 and Abhishek 10. So yeah, cool. And if you want to know more about insurance, Rohan Joshi and I have done a podcast with Vabhav. It's available on our channel. Please do check it out. We talk about different things, different topics, different aspects related to insurance. It was very helpful for us and I'm sure it will be very helpful for you guys listening. Please check out the video. All good. Now the order will change. The order will be Vabhav, Sidesh, Rohan and Abhishek. And the theme will remain the same like we said. Little bit of hardcore insurance, a little bit of brand, little bit of fun, like astronauts, football sticker. Baba Sagar. Baba Sagar. Baba Sagar. Cool. Vabhav, second half start. This is your direct. I'm talking about a certain company again. In 2012, the company was embroiled in a trading controversy known as the London Whale. Bruno Ixil, a trader in the bank's London office, made massive bets on credit derivatives that resulted in $6.2 billion loss for the bank. The incident raised questions about the risk management practices at the company, leading to multiple investigations and a $920 million fine. CEO Jamie Dimon famously downplayed the incident at first, calling it a tempest in a teapot, but later acknowledged the seriousness of the failure. The bank took steps to tighten its controls and the scandal remains a key lesson in the dangers of unchecked risk finance, risk taking in financial markets. Now an extra clue for the bank. The firm's early history can be traced to 1799 with the founding of what became the Dash Manhattan Company. Which company are we talking about? Which firm are we talking about? Before we talk about the fund, when I see these numbers, I think as a startup, you lost ki jage, thoda sa investi kar diya hota kisi startup. <laughs> Seriously. Also, in general, I think very irresponsible to let whales make financial decisions for humans. Absolutely. Like just not acceptable. Sure, we are both mammals, but not. I, I don't care if the whale is from London. Doesn't change anything. <laughs> it's I think it's behavior. about the size does matter. So, <laughs> <laughs> now, something which actually started in 1799. <laughs> uh, although I've not worked for this bank, but uh, is it uh, Citibank by any chance? Uh, no, not Citibank. Going to Sidesh. Uh, it's JP Morgan. It is JP Morgan. It's Chase Manhattan Company. That's how they started. Chase, 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 Chase Manhattan. Uh, and yeah, it refers to Chase Bank. It refers to JP Morgan. I was just watching Sidesh's face and I knew this question is not going to come to me. I knew. I knew. <laughs> yeah. The two, yeah. like Sidesh's face, like, whale, whale question, man, shark, yeah, better. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he has some affinity to ships and whales. Ah, the Boston ah, wala wala. Yeah. 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 Are you a non-vegetarian fish eater? Absolutely. I'm a bone. Whale or shark to his Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whale sharks and group insurance. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. But nice. but nice. but you cannot only rely on group insurance, KV. Yes, please tell me today more about it. Like, do your employees usually have like their own insurance? Do you recommend it as an HR professional before I ask Weber? Oh, yes, absolutely. See, while 
again, companies can do so much for providing term insurance, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's always better to have personal insurance mm-hmm. through a trusted advisor, friend, whoever is in insurance. If you have doubts, mm-hmm. because it's not OTC ki jaake kharid lo kahi pe, you still have a financial investment to make. Mm-hmm. Do you have anything to add on that? And again, from a from an expert perspective. This is just two things. One, Sadesh is absolutely right that uh, HR provides great things, but it's uh, to a certain extent not 100% what your need is because let's say 1,000 employees, 50 employees, whatever the strength is, it's an average of what the risk would be required. Uh, mm-hmm. Two, we have seen, and KV, you and I were together in an organization. There's this person who left the organization, not starting his own thing. He was joining another company. He took a 15-day break between the two organizations and unluckily... Uh, something happened during that duration. Uh, and it has happened to two friends of mine. One ex uh, a colleague of ours and the other, when I was a management trainee, he was joining from one company to the other and met uh, with uh, some accident between them. So you just don't know uh, whether the HR policy will cover you throughout the life because uh, today, unluckily, it's not like our parents' generation. My father joined a government and retired from the same basically post, kept on growing, but Today's generation keeps on switching after a few years. There are career switches. You are there, life example in front of us. Uh, from I'm also here. So from being a corporate employee to an entrepreneur or to being a, a self-employed person, so anything may happen. Uh, and insurance is a lifetime kind of a engagement. It's not only about today. So yeah. I think like Abhishek also mentioned, he has his uh, own thing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, so I consulted my ex-flatmate who uh, works with the insurance company. So uh, he advised me on uh, like it's not just for yourself as well, but for your parents and uh, like dependables uh, also. Mm-hmm. Uh, like and uh, also like group insurance might be like uh, Weber mentioned that it might be an average uh, sort of a policy, mm-hmm. but sometimes you need uh, like specific to say maybe your hometown where it has a better hospital coverage or uh, Mm -hmm. uh, better cashless uh, settlement uh, in hospital. So that also matters a lot. Mm -hmm. So it's always better to have. uh, Cool. If I may add, if I may add here, like a genuine thing, so two things. One is HR policies will only cover you until the last working day. And Mm -hmm. it's a, it's a very, uh, wait, Job market's tight. So in the in the situation where uh, unfortunately there is a lot of reduction that's not going on, mm-hmm. it's it's a very uh, what do you say tight tight situation in terms of where it is. And mm-hmm. second, w- costs of insurance are going higher. Uh, so uh, the policy will try to save what the organization can save in terms of least amount of cost. So it will not be your best possible coverage, and unless it's an organization of a very small size or even mid size where they can negotiate with the insurance companies to provide the best benefits there. Mm-hmm. Got it. Aaj pehli baar quiz mein stress questions se nahi. Ye conversation se ho raha hai. Ab bhi ja ke main sare insurance check karne wala hu screen ke baad. Mujhe I I felt ki ye sab sunne ke baad how can I go like uh, okay guys next to come yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 कैंपेन <laughs> दैट <laughs> 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 Companies must keep reserves and provide what is due. Wright served as an employee for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Just give me the blank. And one hint to all four of you is don't overthink this one. Unlike the hedge fund funder, think simple. Also, don't say Lisa Wright the fourth. <laughs> <laughs> Before anyone answers, because they are still thinking, but quick question, Kumar. Mm-hmm. There are two words which I see. Is it that the first word is smaller yeah, yeah. than the yeah. Oh, okay. ah, blanks are indicated of the size? Yeah. Stock keeping, not stock keeping. Going oh. to Abhishek, the blanks are not coming indicative in my answer. So just creating ones. Stock dividends, 
नो गोइंग टू वेबल उधर सिद्धेश के फेस को देख के मेरे को लग रहा है कि मैं क्या करूं ही इज सो रेडी वन ऑफ द वर्ड्स सीम्स टू बी ग्रेच्युटी अदर ऑफ स्टॉक ग्रेच्यूटी नहीं एम्प्लॉई ग्रेच्युटी और समथिंग लाइक दैट नो गोइंग टू सिद्धेश सोशल सिक्योरिटी नो नो ओके विल स्टार्ट अगेन विद रोहन अगेन लाइक आई एम आई एम स्ट्रेसिंग अगेन दैट थिंक एज सिंपल एज पॉसिबल uh like the most simple thing you can think in the context of what the quiz is about okay uh he was also the dash commissioner of massachusetts okay uh, which is the second second black uh okay. Okay. so he is considered to be father of something and there's a wonderful story of how he uh there are many episodes of his life so to speak like for example he um, wa- was in london once and he saw an ad uh in um, in daily telegraph or something or some old people an ad of something that really made him think a lot of things of how a certain industry works he went and he sort of studied the industry then changed the game for all of us in some sense so his oh, father okay. of dash dash which is think again very basic and your life think, insurance yes wow, wow. yeah <laughs> father of life insurance yes Mr. Right. yes woohoo he's the father of life insurance Elder uh, right and yeah uh, yeah father of life in general finally a uh, mathematician I can like <laughs> <laughs> yes yes father of life insurance and um, yeah cool 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 uh, yeah he is supposed to be the man behind many of the things that uh, that happen now that we take for granted in uh, in the insurance industry now okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, next direct will be to Abhishek. Abhishek, this, uh, this term is used for the practice of using metrics to identify undervalued players and sign them to what ideally will become below market value contracts, which debuted in the efforts of small market teams to compete with the much greater resources of big market ones. Which term is this that became really popular with a 2011 movie? money ball money ball yes 10 yes. points there to abhishek we are talking about money ball okay fantastic fantastic money ball next direct will be to webhub webhub starting in the early 2000s this entity took an insurance paying out 1.6 million pounds every year as they believe in always taking the most optimum insurance policy even though most people believed it was not required it proved fru- fruitful as after paying out 34 millions in premium they received a big payout of 114 million pounds this ensured that they were the only ones to cancel their annual event yet pay out prizes which entity situated at sw19 and had insurance against what this is wimbledon against any <laughs> kind of Yes. Uh, so basically, it was bought after SARS, uh, and they were any kind of epidemic or pandemic that will stop uh, the event from happening was the insurance they had taken, and it's a classic case of uh, buying the umbrella when it is not raining and being the only person in the road having the umbrella at the right time. Oh, yeah, yeah, fantastic, fantastic. Of course, we are talking about the great Wimbledon insurance against like I was saying, global pandemic or anything that stops tournament from happening. and then when covid happened they were the only ones who actually distributed prize money to everyone who was supposed to participate in that year's wimbledon great okay we're talking about wimbledon and global pandemic insurance are uh, any 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 okay i'm so scared to ask this from ever but i just feel like ho sakta hai wo question ho is quiz mein but any other like one crazy examples of an insurance like this ever does it exist in history which is like yaar nobody saw this but somebody did it aisa kuch hai uh nobody saw this so would be difficult to say uh, maybe siddesh and abhishek may also have some stories but uh, there are stories of people uh, getting their body parts and organs yeah. and voice and things like that getting insured which are very interesting there are people who get uh, art insured which is a big market by the way art mm-hmm. also getting insured 
Okay. Uh, there are people who have got their memory loss in short. Uh, so there are very interesting, uh, very unique insurance that can be done. Apollo 11 was a case which you discussed. Which was not memory loss. Would wow. be helpful for Twitter. Absolutely. Very interested in that memory. But also how to do, how you remember to claim it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is a big, big scam. This is how you remember to claim it. Insurance of Sisyphus. You will have to make a tattoo. Insurance kya hua hai? Man, you, will make, crazy. you will have to make tattoos like that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. 10 points to Vabal. And next direct will be to Sidesh. Sidesh, while talking about the naming of this romantic movie, the director said he could have named it any generic name such as Dil or Pyar, etc. However, he decided to name this movie Dash due to the presence of A.R. Rahman, who composed the album of the movie, which was the best-selling album of the year. As per the director, Dash means music and music means Dash. However, this movie features in this quiz for being the first of its kind in India. What first and which movie are we talking about? Which Subhash Gai hit is this? Sorry. I just realized a lot of people actually hear quizzing when they drive, etc. So, yeah, we're talking about which Subhash Gai film are we talking about? So, the movie is Tal. Mm -hmm. And is it because uh, it insured its songs in, against piracy or something? <clears throat> I'll give you a chance to improve. Just, just like the Tata IG Funda. I'll give you a chance to... You're almost there. You're half right. It is Tal, but not the song insurance fund. I'll give you a chance to improve Sidesh. It was the first movie to be insured. Yes, that's all. Uh, it's the first, yeah. the first Indian film or first Hindi film to be specific. Tal was the first Hindi movie to be insured. Wow. Yeah. They insured, it insured the uh, for... Sorry, KB, you can get it. No, so, sorry, please, Web. I was about to ask you anyway. Okay, uh, it was in short for any delay if there was an accident and Ashwarya would do, you know, if she fell or it was unwell and the shooting could not get completed in time. Uh, but it did. So That's crazy. Tal, Tal. Also, Tal completed 25 years sometime back. Yeah. Tal a couple of months back. 1999, yeah. yeah. I remember Tal came around the 99 Cricket World Cup. That, that is my memory. <laughs> Tal and BB number yeah. one had both come around that World Cup. So yeah, 25 years. Okay, 10 points there to uh, Sidesh for Tal, which means Rohan, you get the next direct. Rohan, I'm talking about a certain phrase, very popular in, in general, but in finance even more so. It's a catchphrase based on Gordon Gecko's quote, dash, for lack of a better word, dash dash, from the 1987 film Wall Street. The phrase epitomizes the idea that very often self-interest drives economic growth and innovation. It became a controversial symbol of the excesses of the 1980s financial culture. Despite its controversial nature, the phrase remains a part of popular culture and is frequently referenced in discussions about business ethics, financial practices, and economic philosophy. Which phrase are we talking about? Read, for lack of a better word, is good. Yes. 10 points there to Rohan. It is famous Greece. Uh, greed is good. Uh, but if you have a car, Greece is also good. <laughs> have you seen part two he comes out and says which is after the subprime crisis greed is good and now I hear it's even legal yeah. Uh, yeah 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 greed is good nice 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 10 points there to Rohan which means next direct will be to Abhishek Abhishek it is a type of economic system in which transactions between private groups of people are free from any form of economic interventionism such as subsidies or regulations as a system of thought, it rests on the following axioms. The individual is the basic unit in society, that is, the standard, the standard of measurement in social calculus. The individual has a natural right to freedom and the physical order of nature is a harmonious and self-regulating system. This term is generally attributed to Vincent de Hornet, who was a French economist who became an intendant of commerce. Evidence was to be found when the French state parted the West Indies, West Indies company privilege on the slave trade, like the evidence of the usage of the term. What are we discussing? What term are we talking about? What two-word term are we describing here? 
barter system not barter system going to web free trade not free trade going to sidesh is it an open market not open market going to rohan is it laissez faire yes all of you were on the right track but we needed this as the answer of course laissez faire also in some sense means free market free trade etc etc but there were enough clues to point you to laissez faire or laissez faire which is of course what we are talking about in french because that's why we added the whole french economist etc etc so we are talking about laissez faire which literally means allow to do which is a system in general life where you just let things take its course and in economics it means no intervention from anything from government from anything free market we are talking about free market but the term we were looking for was laissez faire yes okay. also as and, said by indian uncles the just enjoy yeah just term just the economy <laughs> <laughs> okay rohan gets 13 for this which means the last question comes to abhishek and this is what this is why i'm so scared to tap, talk to vaibhav about anything off topic and you'll know when this question comes so this is a direct for abhishek abhishek the reasoning behind this peculiar practice is quite straight forward it's a calculated risk management strategy that allows them to pursue their passions without the constant fear of a life altering setback while the practice may seem like a modern day phenomenon the concept of it has been around for decades in the 1920s silent film comedian and actor ben turpin famous for his cross eyed gaze did it this set the stage for a trend that would continue to gain traction in the years to come what practice are we discussing here are these circus performers uh no going to vaibhav on a lighter note not an answer but on a lighter note this sounds a lot like moonlighting but uh... <laughs> But uh, sorry, I'll just pass because whatever answer I'll give, it'll be so wrong. It's better That's to crazy, look. Crazy, Vaibhav! Your... You passing this is crazy. You know okay, why? Then, because okay. Sidesh is smiling since the question came. Sidesh, ah, <laughs> ensuring the their baggage. whatever body parts they yes, use, like if it's about the body part. Are you? That's why I said I'm so scared because literally in the middle of the quiz I said, "Wow, I'm so scared to talk about anything else." And then I got a question on that, and you started talking about body parts. I'm like, "Hey, yar, why did he?" And we're talking about ensuring body parts. The first person to have done that was Ben Turpin because his eyes, very famous cross-eyed gaze, so ensured his eyes. And of course, so many people over the years have celebrities who ensure their body parts, as we know. And as we have told us on this quiz and earlier on the podcast as well, I think. Oh man, yeah, we oh, know oh, oh. Ronaldo's legs are insured, David Beckham's legs are insured, Keith Richards' hands are insured, and so on and so forth. Yes, Sidesh, you get twelve points for this. <laughs> beautifully done, uh, beautifully done. And yes, well, now you want to add something on body part insurance? Any other? <laughs> there should be some shame insurance also <laughs> <laughs> or memory loss insurance which already exists okay cool but i think everyone has got what they uh, sort of expected from this quiz let's see because abhishek had 10 and then abhishek got 10 for money ball abhishek ends on 20 rohan had 20 in the first half he got 5 for life insurance 10 for Uh, greed is good and thirteen for laissez faire. Laissez faire. Uh, Rohan ends on forty eight. And Rohan was actually in the running in case Sidesh passed uh, the body part funda. Then Rohan would have won this. Uh, now Sidesh who dominated this quiz actually thirty two in the first half. Eleven for uh, J P Morgan Chase. Ten for Tal the first in short film and of course twelve winning answers celebrities with in short body parts. Sidesh you win this quiz with sixty five points. Ooh. And now we come to Vaibhav. Vaibhav had twenty one in the first half. Vaibhav got ten for Wimbledon Global Pandemic Fund. Uh, Vaibhav ends on thirty one, uh, which yes, means it's not zero. Sir. Yes, which means we've got what you Vaibhav said. I don't want to be the last person, which Vaibhav has achieved. And Abhishek said, "I will ensure Vaibhav that you don't come last." <laughs> <laughs> 
and abhishek oh. assumed that rohan has always no matter what the topic you're always in the running till the last question which you were and sidesh fantastic doing so much for your employees and also for the quiz great stuff thank you um anything else anything else web of but apart from the quiz like we said was only for fun thank you so much for uh, just adding so much to our life through the podcast that we did recently and on this quiz yeah uh, a lot of stuff amazing amazing yeah, you and you gave me a lot of perspective on that podcast as well so thank you yeah and thank, thank you vishay for always always coming here and being a part of whatever we do here uh, i'm sure people have seen your chess quiz that came recently with against samay rana where uh, uh, where abhishek was actually in his company offside in a on pub on they were partying at literally you can amazing there are people drinking and partying while abhishek sarveer and samay rana ye hota hai quiz sir ye hota hai quiz sir so abhishek you're always a winner sidesh fantastic ron fan and babab again you want to say something no uh i just want to share this whether it goes on but at least to sidesh and abhishek we have built something which is not selling insurance Mm-hmm. aim is not to sell insurance aim is only to educate people so we tell everyone come to our platform we are just educating people we are not selling insurance but one needs to be educated i had i been a little bit you know 50% of siddesh uh, i would have got more marks today just blowing off just imagine a, a, that question of father of life insurance which mm-hmm. i missed mm-hmm. and uh, parts insurance i keep on talking about things but i somehow missed out on the history of them not knowing chase was still okay yeah, but not yeah. knowing about father of life insurance in usa it's not the american father or oh, sorry it's not the indian father of insurance yeah, yeah. that's a quiz in effect yeah, yeah. <laughs> and okay. thanks a lot kb for having me here seen a lot it's very different uh, while seeing uh, compared to when you are active participant yeah 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 yeah, yeah. we've heard that before thank you so much babu and thank you so much sidesh abhishek rohan for being a part of it thank you so much guys thank, thank you. you thank you bye pleasure thank friends you. bye 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 bye, bye. bye.